Good morning, gladiators. It is Tuesday, February 2nd. Happy Groundhog Day. Today we are going to continue our discussion about objects in space. So you will need your astronomy IMV. So if we take a look in our Tuesday folder, the first thing we want to look at are distances in space. Because space is so large, it's really hard for us to get a complete grasp on just how big objects are. So we're going to first watch a video. It's called Powers of Ten. And it's going to take you from the smallest known to the largest known. Once you've watched that video, we're then going to be working in our IMB. So if we go to our IMB, we're going to start on slide 19. So slide 19 is all about the solar system and objects that we might find in the solar system. Remember that when we talk about a solar system, we're talking about a single star, one star, and any objects that orbit that star, planets, meteors, things along those lines. So our star is the sun. We have the planets orbiting the sun, so that creates our solar system. Now, other objects you might see, meteoroids, asteroids, and comets. You need to know the difference between those three objects. Remember that because space is so large, we use a light year to measure distances between objects. One of the largest objects that we'll talk about is a nebula. Now, a nebula is what we call the birthplace of a star. It's where all stars originate. So if you can watch this little short video clip about what is a nebula, and then summarize on the post-it. On slide 21, all we're really doing is comparing relative size of objects in space. So if we go from the largest to the smallest, we have the universe. Smaller than the universe is a galaxy. Within a galaxy are nebula. Smaller than a nebula is a star. Smaller than a star is a planet. And smaller than a planet is a moon. That's the relative size of objects going from largest at the top to smallest at the bottom. Use this information to help you answer these questions on the side. Decide if the statement is true or false based on these relative sizes. When you have finished that, the last thing you have is slide 22. You're going to summarize what we've been talking about. You can go all the way back to the universe, Big Bang, you can talk about electromagnetic spectrum, all of the objects in space. So summarize what you've learned about what we have been talking about these past few days. When you finish with this, you are done for the day. Have a great day, gladiators.